We find a lot of customers contact us after searching the net. They're confused. They don't know what material is there. There's a lot of misleading information out there with materials packaged and branded up as all sorts of wonderful things. So what we're doing here is we're gonna simplify things and run through a couple of materials to show you the basics of what you need to do to insulate your car to make it cooler and quieter. The first one is a vibration dampening mat. It's fundamental when it comes to stopping sound resonating through your sheet metal. So here we've got a symbol which is simulating a metallic surface in your vehicle. We'll tap on this symbol and you can hear it's got a great ringing effect. We're going to apply the stage one sound deadener now. We put this on. And now if we tap on the symbol, you can hear that that ringing effect is no longer there. What the dampening sheet is doing is absorbing that energy so the current can't be connected. What the material consists of is a rubber lower layer, which is self-adhesive. It doesn't actually have an adhesive glue on it. The actual base material itself is sticky. This means for, I guess, vertical applications and inverted application, the product will stick and you're not at risk of an adhesive layer breaking down over time and in the product failing. This is why a lot of the automotive manufacturers will use this and they will put it throughout the car and it does get used on roof skins. So that's first and foremost. That gets stuck to your floor. Second, we've got a range of foams. This one here is our acoustic liner, which is a direct replacement to your cotton jute carpet underlay. It's a peel and stick product, so it does have an adhesive layer, which peel the back off and then you stick it down straight over the top. This will replace your cotton jute carpet underlay. The advantage with this product is, it's a twin layer foam, so it's got an open cell noise filtering foam and then a closed cell foam on the top. The advantage of having a closed cell foam on the top is that if you pour a drink on top of this, the water's gonna sit on top of it. It's not gonna soak into it like your cotton jute. The other advantage is the closed cell foam is a great thermal insulator. So as you can imagine, heat's gonna come through your floor pan. Usually guys are hot rodding things, putting bigger horsepower in, putting them low to the ground, bigger pipes that you got heat coming straight through the floor. What's gonna happen is your heat's gonna go straight through your floor pan, like a frying pan. It's gonna go straight through this rubber, hit the layer of aluminium. That's gonna work as a radiant heat barrier. So that heat's gonna get dissipated and spread through the sheet. If you touch that aluminium, the surface temperature will be hot. But if you hover your hand over the top, the radiant heat's gonna be reduced. What a lot of people do, they'll put this straight in the car, put the carpet over the top, and they'll still have heat issues. What you do need to run is some form of underlay. So the advantage with the acoustic liner having a closed cell foam is you've got an additional layer there that's a thermal insulator. So you'll put that in, it's 10 millimetres thick, designed as a direct replacement to your cotton jute. Put your carpet on the top, job done. These two products together will knock around 15 degrees out of the radiant heat coming through. So it's the difference between a sweaty ride and a cool ride. The third product I'm gonna show you here is our mass noise liner. This is a stage two product as a carpet underlay, but it's a premium carpet underlay. The difference between it is, it still has a foam on the bottom, so that's a decoupling layer, which is gonna separate the contact between these two. It's also gonna work great as a thermal insulator, but it's got the addition of this mass loaded vinyl, which is a, a noise blocking material. It's commonly used in the commercial industry. What you'll find though, in luxury vehicles, when you start spending upwards of sort of $80,000, you'll find that the makeup under the vehicle is they'll have their dampening mats in key areas where they know they've got resonant issues. They'll cast a layer of foam, and then on top of that foam, they'll have a mass load of vinyl right over the surface. In the cheaper end vehicles, you usually only find this on firewalls to stop engine noise coming through. You will find it across wheelhouses also. If you've got a diesel vehicle or a commercial vehicle, a truck, that sort of thing, this is essential to stop that noise coming through the floor pan and into the car. The other application for this is as a drop-in. Think of it as a removable sound deadener. So in your boot application, where we've got it set up here, it's ideal that you can drop it in as a blanket. It'll smother all that exhaust noise coming through. You can lift it up, access your spare wheel. Another application, firewalls, transmission tunnels, wheelhouses, uh, behind rear seat backs rather than trying 
to insulate your boot to stop the noise coming up through, you could just put a curtain straight across to stop that sound actually coming through the car. Considering the weight of it, to give you an idea, this one is four kilograms per square meter. It's not something that you use in a vertical application. It is a little bit impractical when you try and hang it as a curtain. You do need mechanical fasteners. I have seen people use it behind door trims, but it's not so practical and it makes the install a little bit challenging where a lot of your noise in your doors is usually gonna be on the sheet metal skins.